Well, if you didn't know that the holidays were coming, our next guest is a great harbinger. We have got Anthony Blake Clark. He is music director of Baltimore Choral Arts. How are you? I'm great. Good to be with you here, Elsa. Thank you. I joked with you. I was like, oh, when I see you, I know that Christmas is coming. You are not Santa, but close to tell us this is all second nature for us here, especially at the station, but it might not be for some people in our audience. So let's just give a refresher course about what Baltimore Choral Arts is and what it is that you do. Great. So Baltimore Choral Arts is the basically the symphonic choir of the city of Baltimore. Um, we basically exist to sustain the art of singing together. Um, I firmly believe that that participating in singing and being a member of an audience in classical music will change your life and will change your perspective. So we do that important work. Um, we bring classical music to schools. We bring classical music to a, a, a broad range of diverse communities in Baltimore. And we really just exist to radiate beauty into the world. And I think we all need a little bit of of that beauty right now. So that's that's really our mission. You know, this year's holiday concert, I can only imagine, you know, that it was a lot of work mounting this performance for the first time since the pandemic started. Um, how was it just getting back into the swing of things? It's been so great. You know, we had we we went about a year with no concerts, with no audiences. We did some amazing recordings, including on this station. Um, but it's been really thrilling to go back to it. We're all masked, we're all vaccinated. Um, and it's a real challenge to do that. I mean, choral singing really has everything to do with crispness of diction and really getting the words out. So putting a big cloth over your face really inhibits that. But it was just thrilling the other night to do the concert. And I think that the audiences are going to be in for a real treat. And it will just spell out that it's the Christmas season once again. And, um, and I think it's all something that we need right now. And in my completely unbiased opinion, er, opinion, you guys have remarkable, remarkable voices. So if you are not feeling like you are in the holiday mood, all you need to do is make sure that you're watching this performance because you're immediately transported. I mean, it really is incredible and all the work that goes into it. Talk about that. Like how many hours are you guys practicing and how many months and weeks goes into just this one day? Or week? Sure. Well, we we usually present anywhere from 15 to 20 performances a year and so this is just one slice of of that work yeah. and you know it takes hours of rehearsal time the orchestra or in in this year in this case the brass ensemble comes and we do a couple of rehearsals with them and um you know the the, the challenges of singing in this acoustic um at the Mar cathedral of mary our queen brings its own sort of challenges but i think i think that you will have there there will be sort of a, a renewed immediacy of the sense of wonder and magic in the, this time of year when you watch this broadcast um, and it's because of the singer's hard work and I'm I, I, I just can't explain how lucky I am to be able to work with people like this so um, it's hard work and it's worth it so I have to ask what can people expect when they get their tickets they come or they're watching on you know MAR tell us what they can expect this year well, this year you can expect uh, to see us all in masks, which is a little bit of a strange sight, but I think you can expect to hear some of the kind of pristine, almost silence. I mean, of course it's music, but it's it feels like the, this music sort of just floats in the air and there's a real sense of wonder and magic and awe and peace and stillness. And that was intentional because of everything that's been going on. We just thought, you know, we, we need to really give some comfort and some a, a real sense of, of of peace and serenity through this music. So that's what you can expect. Yes, I think we all need that now. Um, we're all want to watch, but of course, you know, the venue is only so big. So that's where we come in. You can tune in for Christmas with Choral Arts. It starts at 11.35 p.m. on Christmas Eve perfect timing and 12 p.m. on Christmas Day. So you have two opportunities to watch it right here on WMAR. Anthony Blake Clark, thank you so much for being with us. We, of course, love seeing you. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland. Right